assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am odoo technical developer so in today's video we are going to talk about on change so uh, on change mechanism provides a way for the client interface to update a form whenever the user has filled in a value in a field without saving anything to the database so uh, what does it mean so for example suppose a, a model has three fields amount unit price and a uh, price so and uh, you want to update the price on the form when any of the other fields is modified so to achieve this uh, defined a method where self represent the record in the form view and decorate it with api dot on change so to specify on which field it has to be triggered so any change you made on self will be reflected on the form view so what does this mean so let's uh, uh, explain it with an example so this is the example like we have the on change method and we have used uh, uh, like we can see the api dot on change decorator so inside the api on change decorator we need to add the fields on which uh, the field uh, like uh, the price depends so the price actually depends on amount and a unit price so a amount multiplied by unit price will become a uh, price so we, we can save we can update the value of price in the form just using the on change so a lot of uh, people confused between api dot unchange and api dot depends so actually api dot depends is used uh, in case of computed methods and computed methods are, are automatically uh, have the feature of on change so whenever you change uh, the value of the dependent fields are uh, the uh, values recomputed every time and the values also stored in the database but this uh, but in case of uh, on change the value is not stored in the database so uh, in this case you can also raise a warning message uh, if if you want uh, on the basis of the on change uh, so for example uh, for for today's we have an exercise like uh, we need to add a warning message uh, about invalid values like uh, take a temp number of seats are more participants in more participants in uh, uh, session so here we can see like number of seats are 40 so currently uh, there is no uh, restrictions we can add minus 40 and uh, which we need to uh, stop we need to add a warning message when some someone adds a value of negative it should raise a warning that you cannot add negative values uh, either uh, or uh, if someone adds more participants than uh, the number of seats so for this purpose what we need to do we need to use uh, the on change uh, mechanism so for this purpose uh, let me just copy this existing method and let me make, make uh, changes inside this method so we will have to make the changes inside the session model so here let me copy it and so what are the uh, on change fields so we have number of seats so the first one is number of seats and the second one is uh, like uh, attendee I, attendee ids okay so here we have we need to remove this uh, which is not needed for us and remove these comments so here uh, we need to uh, raise a warning message so what the warning message should say if uh, if uh, self dot uh, seats is less than zero then raise this warning message that uh, like something happened wrong uh, you cannot you cannot add negative value like this okay so here we can say we can uh, add like uh, and change seats this and attendees and okay let me restart Udo service and let me go to Udo so uh, so let me just re refresh uh, this page and then I will try to uh, change the value of number of seats to a negative value so let me try to change the value so here you can see you cannot add negative values okay 
so this is how you can uh, notify the user that you are doing something wrong and uh, the next thing is like we need to count uh, the number of taken seats and uh, so here we can add a warning message like uh, or so we need to add another warning message here if uh, self dot seats is uh, less than uh, len is a function that will return the number of uh, the length of this uh, id is uh, like self dot attendee ids so here we need to add a message uh, something had happened so uh, you cannot add cannot add more uh, attendees then number of seats like this like if seats is less than uh, or you can see if attendees are more than a uh, seats so you need to raise a warning message so let me just try it so uh, the error the error message will uh, will uh, trigger uh, if uh, if you change uh, either attendees or this one so if i change this like four so i will get a warning message like you cannot add more attendees uh, than the number of seats because uh, it is uh, it depends on these both fields okay and if i add uh, more attendees here so i will get other uh, error something like this you cannot add more attendees than the number of seats so this is how you can use the on change but in uh, like in case of api dot depends this is not the purpose of api dot depends api dot depends is always used uh, in case of uh, computed fields like uh, we have already done it here so so thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it please uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you